What's up, y'all? It's your host, Sensor AK, back in with another episode. I'm here with my co host. What up, y'all? It's your boy, Pac Man CXZ. Check me out on everything at P A C C M A N T X Z. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. How are you doing, my boy? I'm doing all right. How are you, NK? I'm vibing. I'm vibing. I'm taking this time to really sit down and watch a lot of NBA games. This in season tournament has been cooking something nice. There's been cooking something. I, I called it at the beginning of the season, and it is what it is. It's just the playoffs with everybody healthy, which I'm not hating. That doesn't sound spectacular. <laughs> Look, I'm not hating. If them Indi- if the Indiana boys get paid, that's that's great. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I saw a uh, post today, a fact sheet thing mm-hmm. that you know them random ass stats and shit they be mm-hmm, posting. Mm-hmm. There are ten players on that team making less than three million. Yep. Mm-hmm. So it's like, and then three um, two way players that are making like five hundred k. So, so uh, double your money. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds great. Halliburton out here dropping a triple double every night, like he like he fucking Jokic. I don't I don't know what's going on, but. That man is balling out of control. Mm. I don't think they're like contenders. Mm. Okay, okay. Honestly, I think that they only won like I didn't watch it, but I'm just guessing based on the vibes in the air. You know how the Celtics get out. Mm-hmm. I think that they just lost that game because of the refs. Like I think the Celtics lost because of the refs. I think that every game the Celtics have the refs on, refs on their side, so they lose this game, right? The, the quarterfinal, mm-hmm. just to beat them in like the first round or some shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll, just, like, they'll make them twerk the first no, round. No, but the first round of the playoffs, mm-hmm. bro, every single time they breathe on Tatum, whistle. <laughs> They're going to get Halliburton out in the first quarter somehow. Like, it's going to be flagrant. I'm telling you. No, I'm, I'm calling it right now. Pull this clip up when it happens. Mm-hmm. No, I feel that. I feel that. Honestly, honestly, I was watching the game last night, and I, I'm, a, I'm a known Tatum hater. I'm a great Tatum hater. I personally think Brown is better, but I'll stay under that one till I till I pass out. You personally think wrong. <laughs> but the main thing that I've been noticing, that man is a bucket. Oh, my. Bro, he hit this dude with, like, one dribble, hit him, uh, one dribble shoulder, one dribble shoulder, and just turned off his back and just right over this DPOI player. Yeah, no, the the plays this season have been honestly pretty crazy. I saw LeBron hit, like, a 360 layup mm-hmm, or something. Mm-hmm. It looked like he was going up for a dunk, too, and he just somehow just rolled off it, like... They went up for they tried to block him too much contact. He just mm-hmm. rolled off it and just easy butt, easy butt. You know what? Real before before you even get on that, did you see LeBron uh cussing out uh Ime Udoka or at least was about to put the the pause on him? Did you did you peep that? Hey man, old man Braun been real aggressive here lately. <laughs> he been he been addressing everything, standing on business. He's you, not playing with none of y'all. Bro, my whole thing is I feel like since everyone keeps calling him old and keep being like, Oh yeah, no, he's an old man. He's like, No, I'm not old. Y'all is not for the go and punch me on my game for national television bro there's a video that came out that showed that lebron was cooking ime udoka when then when he was in the league when he was in the league the, i don't know if you saw more clips than i did but it was one dunk it was one dunk. One du- and- bro bro uh what's his name uh i think it was b-ball or whatever b-ball breakdown he, he dropped an eight minute video of him cooking him the whole time so yeah, no, nah, it's it's crazy seeing the people that played against LeBron are now the coaches that are still trying to get they wins in, and they're losing. You know what? <laughs> I'll give you that because if you saw Jeff Teague's podcast, he's talking about yeah, I pushed LeBron out the out the uh, out the damn playing area. I don't oh, know okay. off the court. Yeah, off the, off the court. court. Yeah. I don't know why I just brave hard so hard. <laughs> he pushed him off the court because he's never won a playoff game against him. He's just sick of it. <laughs> He was just upset. He's like, it was the end of the game. I can't beat this motherfucker again. Like, you know what? I, I, I don't even, I don't even blame them because of, I feel like it would irritate me to the depths of my soul if this man has been cooking me not just twenty years of my life, but post the playing career. You know what I just realized? What? There's probably a handful of players that have literally never won a game against LeBron. Yeah. That's insane. If I was to guess one, Kelly Oubre. I wouldn't be surprised if Kelly Oubre just never beat them. Because they only play like three times a year. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you don't play. You like Don't let it get to the playoffs. You get swept. <laughs> no way. won a game against LeBron. Bro, Damn. honestly, honestly, I wonder how many players have been shipped out of cities because of that man, LeBron. Like, I was watching a video of DeMar DeRozan. No matter how good DeMar is, right? He will never not be mid. He will, I will never not see him as a mid player because of any time he ran up against that guy, he just ran back home. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. 
those are your personal opinions. Keep them over there. Wow. I, I don't I don't necessarily think that Demar slander is necessary. Demar, we need Demar of you up here. Come come in to Minnesota. We need you. We will <laughs> happily give you McDaniels. Y'all can have whoa, McDaniels whoa, 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 today. Whoa, 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 let's not do that one. Let's not do that one. I don't know why y'all are y'all are whooping over this boy. He's Bro. he's averaging like six points. D P O Y. D P O Y. McDaniels. Yes, bro. Damar, please. We're contenders once you come up here. Please. <laughs> We're contenders now. Stay over there. Stay over there. We don't need them right here. We had D Rose. We need D Rose in. Come. <laughs> like you'll also get your career high here. I promise. Oh my God. You know what? I don't even. I don't even blame him for being mid. Did you see the Bulls are getting better when he doesn't play? Who? Uh, the the uh, when Demar don't, when Demar and Zach Levine when they get off when they not when they're not playing their their team jumps up. I believe it. <laughs> if you ever hear it, like the NBA is like high school, like mm, yep, yep, like yep. they be low key like having hissy fits and like shutting people out and stuff because of arguments. It's like you're messing up the game because of some dumb shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I don't, I believe it, and I've been I have Zach on my um, fantasy team. Mm-hmm. He's been pretty buns. I'm not gonna lie, his shooting percentages have been pretty not great. Even if he's dropping twenty, look at those percentages. Bro, oh it, man, oh my god! I remember I was having to argue with one of my homeboys, and I told him if a player shoots nine for twenty and they have twenty points, that's not a good shooting game. Even though it's 45 to 50 percent, that's still not a shooting. That's not a good shooting game because you're taking so many shots to have so little points. It's crazy. I'm not going to lie. Zach Levine is playing like prime Julius Randle right now. Like he's he's he really is hella volume, bro. You you fuck around and somehow put up 30, but you're like 42 shots, bro. 22 (laughs) percent. Whoa. Like. You haven't made a three pointer in four games. What do you mean by that? You take five a game. It's it's a, it's a bit much. Oh but. my god! You don't switch switch it to switch it to the Knicks. Who do they play tonight? They play the Milwaukee Bucks in the in season tournament, right? Indeed. Mm-hmm. How do you think that game's going to turn out? It's the quarterfinal. Yeah. Well. Yeah. 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 Um. Quarter semi. I'm going Bucks over Knicks because Julius Randle. We were, uh, that was that was coincidental. Uh, yeah, fuck that guy. Um, <laughs> and then Suns versus Lakers. Mm-hmm. Not only because I'm a Braun fan, am I going to go Lakers? But also, I have no faith in KD or Book. Mm. Uh, who else is on that team? Brad Beal too. It, he's injured or some shit. He hasn't he? played yet, or so, he plays like one every five games. Yeah. So yeah, no no faith. Nurkic has been going crazy. Like I don't like. It's it's weird, but mm-hmm. yeah, no faith in the rest of your team. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. On my end, hmm, I don't think the Knicks can beat <laughs> of the Bucks. I don't think that they're set up to beat that team. Because I don't it, think the Knicks can beat their front office. I don't think like no funny shit. Not only with the with the poor management, but like literally in a game of basketball. Oh wow! Like I don't know how they're still a franchise. No, but seriously, when you've been trash for this long, it's a talent almost, bro. bro. Honestly, my my whole thing with the with the New York Knicks, it seems like they refuse to play the people that are actually good. Like the fact that Julius Randle is still their starting face of the <laughs> franchise player will never not sit right with me. And this is what makes me wonder, like, <laughs> is New York that crazy? Because you hear about different markets and stuff. Mm-hmm. Certain guys, you just, you, you don't want to go there because you know the lifestyle you live. You <laughs> Basketball won't happen anymore. You'll be done. They're kicking you out the league. You're going to go a little too hard. Is New York that crazy where they're just like, don't, don't bring any of those guys here. They're going to they're gonna ruin their life. Honestly, bro. Honestly, bro. I've always been one of the big people that I always say. When people say that L.A. is a toxin cancer and ruins people, no, it's New York. New York is the one that will ruin people because there's no way, there's no way I should be walking around, see a celebrity, see a supermodel, and then see a politician in the span of a 30-second walk because everything's so small and together. Yeah, no, there's too much money. There's too much excess. It's true enjoyment in that city in comparison to anywhere else because... That's the only thing I can think of. I don't I don't know what else what other reason they have to like completely have a trash the worst team in like <laughs> what the second third best market? Bro, my my whole thing is for some reason they keep taking the ball out of Jalen Brunson's hands to put into everybody else's hands. And I think we all need to come together and realize that six foot man is the best player on y'all team. Cause of 
you know what? I feel like we might be dragging Julius Lando a little bit too much. But my whole thing is, I feel like the archetype of Julius Randle should have went to the wayside with Julio Okafor. That's what it's, that's what it's really looking like. Is Julius Randle not the same player as, like, Halliburton? What do you mean? Are they not, like, the same size with the same skill set? No. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. No, Julius Randle is buns. But, like, are they not, don't they have, like, the same skill set? No. Well, how are, how are these two? Aren't they both, like, 6'7"? Uh, Halliburton is 6'5", Julius Randle is 6'7", 6'8". So Julius Randle is, like, bigger, a more brute, likes to back players down. He's LeBron. Still does the face-up things. He's the next LeBron. He could have been the less next LeBron if hey, he man. would get a little more athletic, but yeah. Everybody has a couple rough years. Jordan, you know Jordan had a couple rough years. Kobe didn't even start. You know, hey, man. He's everybody, 36. Everybody has a couple rough years. <laughs> When he's 42, that's when he'll learn how to play basketball. That's what you're trying to You tell. never know. <laughs> he might pull it together. Oh, my God. 38 might be that year. You see LeBron. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know what? We'll, we'll hit that in a bit. But, oh, my God. I don't think that they're even set up to beat Giannis. So, yeah, no, I, I'm getting their, their team is going to win that one. Their team is dumb now, though, too. Like, especially against like the Knicks, it's like you're 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 pulling out a full scale all star all star team to beat the fucking Hornets, the Knicks. <laughs> you're, you're pulling out an all star team to beat the Knicks. Like they've always been asked. Yeah, that's true. Have you been watching any of the Bucks games? It seems like they're tr- starting to understand, but for some reason they refuse to do the pick and roll over and over and over. Like they really should be doing. Uh, Oh, but yeah, no, I think that's I think it's gonna be Bucks might win a hundred twenty five to one fifteen for those betting folks. That's my over under. Adam, this is a message directly to you, Mr. Adam Silver. He's been cooking lately with this in season tournament play in. Mm-hmm. Getting you know, people off the map. Continue. I don't I don't I don't hate your ideas, but I wanna change the landscape a little bit. Can mm-hmm. we start making the NBA truly worldwide? I have an idea. Okay, cook. Every season, the worst team. Before they get their draft pick option, Mm -hmm. can we please make them play some overseas team for a spot in the NBA? And maybe they'll get a chance the next year to to come back. Maybe. I don't know. But can we please just we need to see it because at this point, I'm starting to think that these these overseas motherfuckers might be better. But I want to see the Knicks play the Shanghai Sharks. I want to see the shark, the, the Hornets play. Whatever other teams exist in other countries, because I don't watch other countries basketball because I'm American and like, why would I do that? But I I, I need to see diversity, Mm. unity, togetherness Mm. from the world. You know, I I need to see y'all play Croatia. That's that's what I need. No, I want to see I want to see an NBA team play a Serbian team. In Serbia, or was that in Slovenia? Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. <laughs> they going up regardless. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I need to see it. I need to see if it changes the environment of the game. You know what? No, I, I definitely, I definitely second that because I know there's some NBA players that were sent overseas for political reasons instead of actually hoop reasons. <laughs> so yeah, no, let Kemba pull up, let him come back to the league and cook y'all. That's that's what I'm. That's what Kemba what do? He's been out the league for like two years now. I thought he like kind of quit though. Well, they made him quit. <laughs> That's why I say, what did he do? He moved to a different, because um, he's not good enough. You said political reasons. Like, he hey. said political reasons. Like, <laughs> like he's like he's bro that they made the documentary about. Bro was trying to uh, fight for activism hey. in the league. And they was hey. like, yeah, get up out of here, buddy. <laughs> you know what? I wonder, I wonder, which NBA player, how good do you have to be for that to be able to stand in the uh, NBA? Because in the NFL, you have to nearly be Patrick Mahomes for it for you to to voice out and them to even give a fuck. I think it's levels to it, and it depends on how you go about it. Mm. Because you see, like certain people, oh, they'll just they'll really take everything from you. <laughs> like you can't go to the bank, mm-hmm. you can't Uber, mm. you you can't fly. <laughs> like they'll really take everything from you. So you you go a little too hard on the wrong thing. Huh? 
No, I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. I'm, I'm glad Kyrie back. I'm glad Kyrie back. Like, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we found out some news about Diddy in the next couple of weeks. He's no fly listed. Can't go to the bank. He can't. He's banned from McDonald's. Like all kind of dumb shit. Mm-hmm, can't go to NBA games. He wasn't an NBA player. I don't know why, but yeah, no more Denny's <laughs> for life. Banned. Can never Walmart. Eat a, don't even think about it. Never eat a McDouble ever again. No, I feel you. I feel you. Um, but yes, no, uh, for the Suns versus Lakers, I'm so glad that they're playing each other. Because of I'm any time that I get a chance to see KD and LeBron go back at each other, it's a, it's a gift. It's a gift. Because of the amount of times I've seen KD jump this man, I'm glad that, that they're back on equal playing grounds. I think the Suns are going to win this game. I'm just a KD hater, and I don't think that's possible. <laughs> Because if AD plays decent, like, no. My friend asked me this. Who do you think is better, Devin Booker or Anthony Davis? A healthy Anthony Davis. Really? Devin, but how often are we getting that healthy guy? Devin, <laughs> Devin Booker to a system versus Anthony Davis to a system. Okay. Like, bring, bring Devin Booker here. We're a uh, can. Let me say. We're let me say. Now. What do you? We're contending now. <laughs> Let us let like all of these guys have not even really been to the playoffs like that for real. Like relax, relax. relax. <laughs> so <laughs> bring Devin Booker here. I don't necessarily. I think we're a we're a, a conference final contender. Okay, okay. You bring Anthony Davis to this team. Oh, I thought you meant said Booker over here. Okay. You bring Anthony Davis to this team, we are a nigga rig. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Devin Booker doesn't he doesn't really take us all the way there because of what he does for his specific skill set. Now that might just be for our team and what we have, but also we already have one of the best centers in the you league. Know what? So you know what? a better a better way to to do this. Would you rather have Devin Booker or Anthony Edwards? Is Ant better than Devin Booker yet? I'll only say it like this. Ant has a greater potential still. Okay. I don't think Booker is getting better. I think he's good. Yeah. But I don't think he's going up more. Yeah, I don't I don't know how much better he can get. Edwards is averaging like what, 30? Like a clean 26. Yeah. yeah. Like, and he makes it look so good too. So it's like, I don't I think he has a higher ceiling too. Okay. okay. I think he'll be able to do more. I think uh, he, I think Anthony Edwards will be able to do more than Devin Booker at the mm-hmm, end of the day. Mm-hmm. But only time will tell. I don't. I, he hasn't dropped seventy yet. Anthony Edwards hasn't dropped seventy. So I feel that. I feel that. Oh, on the first one, Anthony Anthony Davis versus um, Devin Booker. Honestly, I think now Devin Booker is a top is a top ten player because of how efficient he is, how much buckets he's getting. The different places that he's scoring and send his team up. Keep in mind, it's literally just Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, and the rest of his teams is Buns Booty Cheeks. Everything is running from those two men. The league is so good this year, he might not be. He's not top 10? He might not be. You know, we'll we'll get there because that's that's kind of wild. That's kind of <laughs> might not be. Where where it might be wild a little bit. Um but no I'll pull up the numbers right now <laughs> The way that he's able to set Not just himself up But every other player else on his team Especially the fact that they're so Buns booty cheeks I think that takes him over the edge And he's consistent He has been consistently cooking this year So yeah I would rather have um, Devin Booker over uh, Anthony Davis I mean in the last game he played in 37 minutes 10 rebounds Seven assists, thirty-four points, one steal. I mean, is that Anthony Davis or Devin Booker? This is Devin Booker. Fuck, ten rees. Oh I'm making the argument of why Devin Booker is like ah. so. Okay. Uh, Toronto, thirty-three minutes, five rebounds, five assists, eight points. All right. Eh. Bad I, game. Okay. I don't know. We put them pause on you. All right. Fuck it. Um, he's a six-seven African. Continue. New York, thirty-eight minutes, five rebounds, eleven assists, uh, two blocks, twenty-eight points. I guess New York, though. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> how good can you really be? Uh, Memphis, the first time, 33 minutes, five rebounds, four assists, four steals, one block, 40 points. Now you went crazy. Now you went crazy. Jesus Christ. Okay. So, I'm not saying he's a bad player. And season stats, if you're wondering, we're averaging uh, for Devin Booker 34 minutes, 2.1 threes, 5.8 rebounds, 8.4 assists. 0.7 steals, 0.5 blocks, 
and 27.9. So let's call it 28 points. God damn. There's a lot of players this year averaging 28. God damn. That, and that's why I said I, he might not be because there's a weird amount of guys averaging 30. Yeah. yeah. Shy and Halliburton <laughs> came out of nowhere. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. So now we can pull up the numbers for Anthony Davis, right? Okay. Okay. But I don't think it's fair compared to what Anthony Davis can do for the system. I will say, I will say Anthony Davis is one of the all-time defensive type of players. Yeah. So that does like make it, that could at least uh, account for like what, five, six points. So for Anthony Davis, I'm going to start with the season stats because okay. I feel like they're a bit more impressive yes, than this correct. is what I'm pulling for. Correct, um, correct. <laughs> at 35 minutes, so he's playing one less minute per game. Mm-hmm. He got point two three. Before you even get there, how many games has he played this season? Ooh, ooh, see, I don't know if I have these stats. Uh, okay, okay, because if it's he's played half the games, I don't know what to tell you, guys. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I think he's been playing most of them. Okay, okay, okay. Um, his season stats at 35 minutes, he has .2 threes, 12.5 rebounds, 3.3 assists, 1.1 steals, 2.8 blocks, averaging 22.9. So for a system, all you're getting with Devin Booker is five extra points a game. Yeah, but you can't just say it's five extra points. It's it's what it does to everybody else. And keep in mind, the Lakers actually have a good squad, though. They, 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 okay, but this is the thing. On the on the Suns, mm-hmm. who are your main scoring options? Kevin Durant, Devin Booker. Who's your first scoring option? Devin Booker. Okay. Your first scoring option versus the Lakers, like, what, third? Second? Okay, second. Let's, okay, second. okay. But you're, you know what I'm saying? He's good. He's not bad. Let me just put it like this. I don't think Anthony Davis is a top 10 player anymore. I think he's like 13. You know what? In the league, he's not top 10. No, it's, it's insane now. It's, it's actually stupid at this point. <laughs> it's not fair to, to measure things like that. Uh, I, I should pull up the damn. No, I don't know if it'll show me. Wow, who would I put at top 10 off, off the dome? Uh, Yoke, Giannis, Steph, and Bede. Hmm. I can give you the numbers Luka. like straight up. Okay, let me let me see. Let me see. Tatum, Luca, Anna Dekupo, Jokic, it's, Shy, mm-hmm. Embiid, Anthony Edwards, Halliburton, Anthony Davis. I told you Booker's not top ten. Like I told you, it's crazy this season, bro. What the fuck? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Steph Curry's number ten. Anthony Edwards is not a top ten player right now. He most certainly is <laughs> at 35 minutes. What are they accounting for? I Maybe plus minus two. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah. This might not be. In, this isn't in order. You're right. Because uh, Jokic would be number one. Yeah. 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 Fuck. I've been forgetting that he's actually. He might be actually pretty tough this year. And then Steph and then Devin Booker yeah. is ranked below. Nah. There's there's a lot of heavy, heavy hitting Jesus. players this season. Donovan Mitchell's going insane too. Lamelo's that high. Lamelo's averaging twenty five. Oh okay. god, like that's kind of crazy. Wait, go from top to bottom. Uh, no, scroll up. Go to the side. The other side. Click points. I see what's what for the leading. Oh, leading. In, you're right. You're smart. I, I should have did it like that. So as far as point leaders this season so far, we're only like what twenty games in. Mm-hmm. Is that good? Yeah, that's fine. Oh. We're using that. As far as um, points this season, we have Embiid at number one. Don, Luke. How much points? 32? 32 points. God damn. Uh, Luca at number two with 31.4. Uh, KD at number three with 31 points. Whoa. KD's averaging over 30 this year? It would appear like that. Yeah. Jesus. De'Aaron Long Fox seven. at number four. De'Aaron Fox with 30 points. Is scoring just that easy this year? <laughs> it's weird. I, 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 Giannis, hard, hard last name with 29.9, 30 points. Shy Gilgis Alexander with 29.9, 30 points. Steph Curry with 29.1, 30 points. Jokic with 28.9, 29 points. Booker with 27.9. Okay, Booker might be top 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Wait, shit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. He's number 9. He's number 9. The NBA really stunts a lot of players. 
Like anytime somebody gets injured and is out for like a couple games, whoever replaces them will just suddenly start dropping 30 every night. Yeah. And you're like, so all of y'all motherfuckers could do this, but y'all just make him do it? What is this? It's honestly, I remember listening to another podcast where it's like, well, we're paid him like 30 more million than we paid you. You better play defense. <laughs> that will be our bucket. But even even on on that, I feel like it's a it's a scary thing. Cause it's like being the man, if you get injured and another man appears. You best believe you better. You're gonna wait. <laughs> you're gonna wait your turn until the de- until that time is over. And now you're doing this thing where you're trying to like fight them to see who's like the number one player on your squad now. And now you be the one that's traded because you got injured. Was, um, in school, when I was first uh, started, one of my homeboys was like, "Hey, you you gonna get a lawyer?" I was like, "Why?" It's like, "Well, if we're gonna be talking about people." Sister to sister thing, defamation here, defamation there. And it turns out that's the, a genuine thing. People will, will if you're like, oh, if you're talking about them, you know what? Here's a lawsuit. Let's let's, let's get rid of all this. And I, I didn't even think that was like a... Cardi B owns Tasha K's channel, I think. Damn. She ain't give it up? She, like, I think... I think that was part of her request of the lawsuit. She's like, I want the channel. I want the password and everything. I need, I need all the video. Nah, that's evil. That's so <laughs> I think, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure Cardi B mis- confiscated her whole shit. Wow. Honestly, honestly, there's, there's a special place in, in the fiery ripstone because you don't need it. You don't need it for real. That girl was saying that Cardi B was like, oh, wait, is that Nicki Minaj? I don't know. They all be suing people, bro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nicki Minaj sued somebody for saying that she was doing cocaine, and she's like, no, I don't do that. And then Cardi B, I don't know what she was suing somebody for. Mm. I think we're talking shit. The defamation. defamation. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, like, okay, yeah. Yeah, man. Just just don't. Just don't. <laughs> like, don't get rich. No, no, no. Get rich. Don't get famous. Stay as unfamous as you can possibly. Oh, don't oh. look at my face. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know what? I've been thinking about starting a game show where I put a mask on and then I just be doing like cooking or something like that. Because yeah, that's, the first part of that sentence was <laughs> OD freaky. I'm not even going to hold you. I was like, I looked at her. I'm like, where the fuck are you going? Like, a tone and everything. I wasn't fucking with it. I was not fucking with it, bro. Oh, but yeah, no, I think I'll start a game show. That shit will be fun. That will be really fun. And we'll start a show where I put on a mask. And it's going to be a game show. And... All right. Damn. But yeah, oh, but speaking of being on a game show, bro, watching this, YL, watching this YSL case has been like watching a Grammy nominated, not Grammy, uh, Emmy nominated performance. By everyone involved. Uh, so, if you're unaware, I mean, mm. they got the lawyers rapping. You can, yeah, they can get a Grammy. <laughs> bro, bro, watch watching this in real time shows me how unserious celebrity uh, trials can really get. <laughs> watching this in real time shows me how unserious rappers are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair. Y'all Did talk you? about snitching and standing on business and all the rest of this stuff. You literally. Shot at this man's mom and rapped about it. Yeah, yeah. you talking yeah. about gunna snitching? <laughs> what? <laughs> like you told on you though? <laughs> no, I told. I totally feel that. I totally feel that. One of my main things, especially watching, um, watching it, I'm really realizing if all this alleged stuff is true, motherfuckers are ruining communities. <laughs> They're actually ruining where people stay. And this is. I, I, I know we talked about this before. We're going to do it again, though. Mm-hmm. The thing that made me really see it, mm-hmm. like, I already, like, I know the content is bad. I'm, mm-hmm. I wasn't really, like, fucking with it all the way like that. But, like, the thing that made me see it is, I, I can't remember if it was the DA or this lawyer that was covering um, the thug case. You mm-hmm. know, that guy that does, like, social media videos. He's kind of, like, Armenian looking. Um, that guy. Yep. Okay. It was either him or the DA. They said YSL was either so small that it was insignificant or it didn't exist prior to Young Thug. Mm-hmm. And then after his major success, it is the biggest gang in Atlanta. I mean, so once you are directly, <laughs> you made it, it's your face. But I mean, well, what, what can you expect? He's bringing all these new eyes not even just new eyes, all this new money into this city. So he's deciding who gets re- who's uh, who's recording. He's deciding who gets big because of their uh, proximity and doing all these different things. They're being Atlanta's place. different. 
What you mean? They got their own ecosystem where they like they actually play local artists on the radio and shit. It's it's not the same. Oh, okay. Like Lotto, Lotto Ben has songs on the radio and shit. Like all them, all those guys that like are popular, mm-hmm. they been lit. Like they 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 had already existed in the ecosystem of Atlanta. They just so happened to break out. Mm, okay, okay. But like. So it's like in a sense where they could be sustained just by the love of Atlanta in and of itself. Oh yeah, I told you about the Tri-State Warrior. That's that's you want to get to your little Tri-State circuit, and then you, you good, bro. Okay, okay. Atlanta, Florida. Uh, what's right there? Alabama or some shit? Or go up? Fuck it. Go to what was it Carolina or some shit? Like stop at DMV a little bit and move back. That's all you need. Your little mm. Tri-State Warrior. You getting paid off mm. of that? Stop starting gangs. Can we? Can we do that? Can mm. we stop bringing guns to the hood? There's mm. enough. There mm. are enough guns. Can we bring some instructors, please? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can we at least be accurate? Mm-hmm. It's like, you want to shoot that motherfucker? All right. I'm not. Hey, man. I don't agree with it. I don't it's know not your my business. business. <laughs> what my little sister got to do with it, though? What the fuck? Like, yeah. you, you shooting through my window. Yeah. Like, yeah. aim at least a little bit. Not- you got to switch? At least point it and look a little bit. Y'all shoot like, bro, they be shooting like they running around like. <laughs> like. It, it's getting a little ridiculous. Bro, there's a meme I saw where it's like, bro, y'all are beef with this one dude, and y'all shot everybody but that one dude. How? Oh. No, real life. Um, what they call them? Not the little white people, the Jedi. Uh, what? 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 Stormtroopers. Real life stormtroopers, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. No, oh God. <sighs> and I, I try and be at least more conducive with the way that I try and like cover. Um, actions like this because it's one thing to say what they're doing is completely bad but it's another thing to realize that it's it sounds like there's a they're stretching it while there are in court trying to prove the case that he is doing all these different things and the reason why you can't use music as the way that they've been using it is because it's like well what how do you know that's what they meant yeah. like you're you're watching them as they're picking all these different lyrics and they're like this is what it means and then you have uh, the lawyers like, well, no, it means this, this, and this. Mm-hmm. Which, without a reasonable doubt, you just have to believe that that's just what it means. And that's why you're not supposed to bring in cultural arts into the uh, law system like this. I think my least favorite thing about court is the jury and okay. how it's used. What you mean? They bring up stuff just to get an emotional reaction yeah even if it's not usable in court even mm-hmm. if they know it's immediately going to be dismissed as soon mm-hmm. as they say it mm-hmm. they'll, and, bro the thing that blows me they'll they'll do that and then the judge will be like strike that from the <laughs> strike that from the hearing well bitch i already signed i i already i don't know what to tell you bro so i think it's i think it's kind of fucked up that they'll bring out all this other information mm-hmm. which like you're right in context you're like oh okay it's really like that's not that serious like it's mm-hmm. not fair or wait were you saying the opposite doesn't matter mm-hmm. but <laughs> either way it's like in context, wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. It's still pretty terrible. I'm like, like, it, nah, they they are really <laughs> creating gigs and really killing people. Yeah. It is that bad. Yeah, yeah. But if it was just music, it wouldn't be an issue. Mm-hmm. Now, when you're bringing it up and you're like, well, he said this at this time. He said he's gonna kill these people. Then and those people died, and that was at the beginning of his career. And then these people died in the middle. And then he put that in that song. And da, 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 da. it's like, mm-hmm. you're a serial killer rapper. Well, my whole thing is find real proof. It, it seems like this is this this doesn't even seem like it's real proof that's being brought up. Hey, or at least if the good stuff is being shown to the actual media and stuff of that nature. You saw that Tori and Meg case. That's why I said like I'm not I'm not ever uh, running to the end of a conclusion ever again because yeah <laughs> they dropped that phone call and everybody was like yeah <laughs> buddy did it yes yeah, it's, it's tough for you put him under the jail no. I, <laughs> Real quick, just looking back on that case, I've never seen such a crazy switch up in my entire life. (laughs) The whole case, that was like the only piece of evidence it seemed like that didn't come out. And Mm -hmm. then they dropped this phone call. He's like, yeah, I'm so, oh, man. Oh, fuck. Why'd I shoot that bitch? Like, like, (laughs) what the fuck? (laughs) Like, what the hell? (laughs) You made it so crystal clear, obvious. Bro, the craziest part, the craziest part, I watched whole YouTube channels that were, like, they were created to talk about this case yeah. on the side of Tori and be like, hey, bro, I'm sorry, bro. Let me just go ahead and turn all this off. Nah, for real. <coughs> I, I don't feel bad for him, honestly. I really don't. Tori or Young Thug? Both. Uh, yep, yep, um, yep, that's fair. <laughs> Tori, I don't feel bad for Tori just because of how he look, honestly. You... <laughs> 
You were supposed to be <laughs> fucked up in life in general. Bro, you're Canadian and short. Bro, lock in. And bald. God was trying to put him in his place. And he he swerved. He said, no, buddy. You're, you're going to have a tough life. Like, relax. Uh, but with with the other individual, Mr. 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 Slime Ball, mm-hmm. I hate the nicknames, too. Like, <laughs> you, hear, you hear the lawyers and shit saying that shit? Like, that shit make me not want to use slang and stuff just in case. Because, like, hearing lawyers have to repeat that shit back, like, bro, this shit sounds so stupid. Bro, I remember talking to my homegirl about that exact same idea where it's like, I be watching white folks use slang and language and vernacular. It makes me want to stop. I said, you know what? Yo, Y'all it makes me want to stop. <laughs> when, uh, when everybody started dabbing, bro, I was in the shower the other day and I was like, "Is that bro, what what's I'm the, doing? What's the last time? Like, <laughs> like they ruined it. Like they <laughs> took all the air out of it. It was a moment where it was kind of saucy. You, <laughs> like, I, it's like the thought of actually like, why is my face in my arm? <laughs> like I don't know. They took all the air out of it. Oh my god! Or like chatting, they're doing that to chatting right now, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Y'all already got simp and all whatever simp. else. Y'all stole Riz. Keep Riz. I don't even like Riz for real. Riz got made up recently. Simp been the thing. Mm. Stop. Stop taking stuff that already exists. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, clout. I don't like how people are trying to reclaim clout like it's a new thing. I don't like it. What? 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 Mean? It's a word. It's been a word. It's always had the same exact meaning that people use it as. It's a real. It's not slang. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't ha- I don't like how people try to use it like it's a different, not already existing thing. Mm, mm. And its exact definition is how people use it. It's weird. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh God. Oh. Oh, that reminds me. As the year comes to an end, your phone lets you know what you've been listening to. And on my Spotify rap, I was a little bit ashamed. Not gonna lie, I was I was a, I was a tad ashamed. Plus. Let's run through them. Let's let's run through them. No, honestly, I've never in my life felt like such a <laughs> mainstream dickhead. <laughs> no, a cock muncher. I, ah, honestly, yep. okay, okay. Somehow, <laughs> somehow, I was in the top three percent of Drake fans. Three percent. I don't know. I swear, every year he's my number one, and I'm like, no, I didn't listen to that much Drake. Baby Keem, I swear I listened to Baby Keem, but that's what like I, I swear I didn't. Oh my god, bro! One year I was in the weekends top one percent. I listened to two of that nigga songs. I listened to him a lot, but not that much. Mm-hmm. Like that shit was. I don't get it. No, nah, honestly, honestly, I was I was thinking about this because my top players was Drake, Baby Tron, Kendrick Lamar, Lil Yachty, and Gunna. Baby Tron, I've never heard you play Baby Tron ever. That nigga is hard. <laughs> that nigga is so. I like Baby Tron, but I've never heard you play no Baby Tron ever. Bro, on his new album, bro stuttered like three times. He stuttered. One of the whole songs was him stuttered. I'm like, yeah, that's the one. No, I I have appreciated him for being creative. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's bringing the little bit of creativity back to rap with simple stuff. What was the song where he was like just counting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, that's like he just it makes it fun. And bro, watching the music video as they're just switching characters on and on, man, lyrical of late, y'all hard, y'all, y'all are hard. Oh my god. Been putting that work, but yeah, no. As I was, um, Drake share number one too, bro. Weird, it's weird. You know, let me let me just hit on that. I think. The reason why Drake will forever be the number one, he drops so much music, but alongside the amount of music he drops, when I go and I hit like shuffle, for some reason, it will always go to Drake. <laughs> and I don't even have that many like Drake songs downloaded. I have like 30, 30 or 20. Maybe that's why he signed the deal. What? You just get more plays in general. Yeah, no, that's that's because I don't I don't get this. I got Drake as my number one, <laughs> Kodak as my number two. I remember hey, listening yo. to Kodak this year, but like, <laughs> damn. Uh, Tizo touchdown is my number three. Okay. Baby Keem number four, and then I don't know how Lil Uzi ended up being number five, <laughs> but he's there. Honestly, hey Spotify lock in. I want to see my top ten. That's, 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 that's what I'm saying. I want to see top ten because <laughs> I feel like somebody had to be. But hey, man, fuck it. No, Too God. much dummy man, I guess. Psh, man, I'm not surprised on the Lil Yachty or the the Baby Tron, but I'm surprised that Kendrick is still up here on my top three. Cause it's like, I liked his new album. Well, not it's not even new. It's been out for like a year, a year and some change. You got Drake, Baby Tron, Kendrick, Yachty, Gunna. Listening to Gunna that much is he's hard. I don't even. You know what? I'm a hater. I'll just stay in my lane. <laughs> that nigga is hard. He came out of jail, lost hella weight, and was just yeah, that nigga hard. 
You know what's crazy? What's up? My most listened to song is by an artist I don't listen to. <laughs> Who is it? It's backflipping by Lil Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I know two of this thing's songs. It's my number one most listened to. Bro, the only song about Lil Tyler that I that I like listened to was the one that's with Baby Tried on his new album. <laughs> that is it. Oh my god, my top five songs: Cat Dog by Baby Tron and uh, Baby Face Ray. He's hard. Ray, uh, bag, Lil Yachty strike. I think we need to all come together and realize once he dropped strike, that was the new new era. New era. Actually, no. Let me go back. Let me go back a little bit. Poland. I feel like once he dropped Poland, he's never been asked from that point. That point on, he hasn't he hasn't missed. It's no no misses. He wasn't bad before, but he was right. mid before. But your opinions. Uh, <laughs> Like I liked early Yachty a lot personally, but Oof. they get called like Minnesota niggas. So <laughs> number one, I got back flipping by Lil Tyler. Mm. Number two, I must apologize, Pink Panthers. Number mm. three, luckily I'm having real quick, real quick. Pink, uh, the folks that look like Pink Panthers is real. I thought that was just the just the meme, but no, they're they're really no, some like, librarian teachers. Oh nine auntie vibes. <laughs> it's weird. Like, I don't know how she recreated a whole time period, but hey, fuck it. Um, luckily, I'm having uh, by Don Tolliver, Tizo Touchdown, Roses, Tizo Touchdown, and Break It Off by Pink Panthers. I don't know how she wasn't in my top 10. You was spamming her too? Bro, I'm at the gym. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> this, I must apologize on repeat. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, um, that boy's a li- This boy's a liar. That was before. You remember, I was playing that for y'all, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Repeat. Yeah. I don't know how it didn't make it here. <laughs> no, honestly, honestly, you were the first one that was hitting pink patches for. I thought it was just a meme. I thought y'all were just horny for real. But nah, y'all were, y'all were, y'all were out to something. Y'all was cooking. Y'all and was cooking. I don't know if you saw my Snapchat story. I put y'all on Tizo Touchdown about two years ago. But then nobody were here. That's that's fair. That's fair. Um, Dull by a, by Asake. What a time by Todd the Creator. What's in by Yarden. I'm I'm happy with my top songs. I'm not happy with my top artists. I'm just I'm not. <laughs> no last last. You lost your Nigerian pass. Nah, nah. If I had the last last song, I would not be Nigerian. The last last is for everyone that's not Nigerian. Nah, nah you lost your you lost your pass. You got twelve songs better than that song. How many it. minutes did you listen to this year? Fuck. Last look. Oh, you you go. I listened to twelve thousand five hundred and twelve minutes. You know how many minutes of those were Drake? Okay. One thousand two hundred and eighty six. Ten percent Drake, bro. That shit is crazy. That shit is crazy. Nick, what? That's what I said, bro. <laughs> I'm like, how am I? How is ten percent of what I listen to Drake? Oh my god! You love it like you love Drake. Love Fred like you love Drake. I'm not gonna lie. I do spin views kind of a lot. Where's the? Where? Where is it? The Spotify Rap. That's what's called. I don't know. They just kind of pull that shit up on my my home screen. If it's not there, I don't know how to find it. Um. My most listened to genres, rap by a mile, followed by trap. Three thousand two hundred and eighty-six songs. Three thousand two hundred and eighty-six. Mm-hmm. Listen to a thousand, well, twelve hundred new artists. Where is it? Hmm. You're such a great listener. I listen to a lot of podcasts too. And the cra- do you want to know something that's crazy? Uh, Undisputed was my number one podcast, right? Yeah. And I haven't listened to them in like four to five months. <laughs> Once Shannon left, I haven't went back. Honestly, I feel bad because I thought I liked Skip too. I don't. You just don't. You don't. He's not. It's, it's Shannon not fu- was the show. Bro, it's not bro, as funny as I remember. Bro, Shannon <laughs> and fucking T.O., it's too much. It's like I my face hurts. Like it's too much, bro. <laughs> oh my god. It sounds like just two uh black uncles just just chatted together. That's what it just sounds like. Yeah. But no. Uh 43,000 minutes. Hey, pull it up for me. Pull it up for me. Oh. <laughs> I've been working on my Nigerian accent. It's mm. it's not getting better. It's, that was ass. Damn. One of these days though. Shit going to come out. I'm going to sound fluent. What was I gonna pull up? 
No the song's all right. I played that 39 times. Jesus <laughs> I think all of those times were while I was at this job. So in the last five months, I've listened to this song 40. Wow. Um, what was I? 40,000 minutes. That's what I was looking for. My minutes. That is a lot of, just go to the end, the end. I've been looking at my 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 little uh, season chart. Mm -hmm. I really only listen to one artist like a season. Ah, the Uzi album. That's why you heard it so much. Um, what did he drop? Uh, the pink tape. Pink tape. Yep. Eh, I don't listen to that that many times. I didn't think though. No one did. You just did. You listen to the whole album in totality. You listened to twelve thousand minutes. Yeah. No, I just had to way more minutes. <laughs> I just I just had so much more minutes. Yeah, how many? 40,000. Oh, yeah. People actually listen to music. It's kind of crazy to me. Yeah. Yeah, my shit's not here. It doesn't tell me uh, how many songs. Uh, that's Middle of the Ocean was a great song. <sighs> Real quick, I saw this one TikTok where they're talking about y'all don't even like Drake when he's rapping for real. And they don't. They, they, really, they really don't. <clears throat> they really don't. Because all my favorite songs are when he's like really rapping, really cooking, right? And tell me why those are literally all the least played songs in out of all his albums. That's not the appeal of music, I feel like one. And that's not the appeal of Drake. Because and and Drake posted this clip, but I kinda agree with this dude. And mm -hmm. He was being funny, but mm -hmm. I, I kinda agree with him a little bit. You see that clip that he posted of that dude, and he's like, Bro, why do you keep bringing up all these random dudes? Who the, who is that? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I feel like Drake's music is full of so many subs and subliminals, mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. subs and subliminals. It's full of so many subliminals and shots. Mm -hmm. Like, if you don't know everything about this man's life, it does. What is this song? Who the fuck is Jason? <laughs> who the fuck is Jason? No, literally. Like, if I don't know who all these people are, who the fuck is Chubbs? I've heard this nigga's name a thousand times. No lie of, uh, is that the song where it's like, my brother, uh, stories about my it's brother? It's all of the songs. <laughs> Chubbs has been around so long. He's been around at least since Take Care. I think I think Chubbs is on them, uh, uh, I love me, whatever that one is. I swear, like, this shit is crazy. Or not his voice, but like, the mentions. It's, yeah. it's insane. Honestly, honestly, I'm this close. I'm this close to thinking Chubbs is just, just another day for Lil Yachty. Because of this, is ridiculous. I feel like we should know I'm, some of these. I, I'm pretty sure Chubbs is a security. <laughs> but it's just the fact that I've never seen this motherfucker. Who is this? You know, like, that's great security. <laughs> He's just out in the bush. Just, just look it. Just look it. Oh my God. Oh, you know what? That's 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 fair. That's fair. That's fair. Cause I don't I don't like when he be singing for real. Like when I be hearing him sing, I be like, all right, that's enough of that. Singing is one thing, but <laughs> I think it's I think it's the melodicness that people like. Mm, okay, okay. Rapping is uh, it's one dimensional if you don't have bars. Yeah, that's true. But he got bars. He be he be. And then again, you have to know everything about this man's life for every girl he has ever wienered in his life. <laughs> To understand these shots and stuff. Y'all are weird. That's that's another thing. Y'all, y'all, y'all found Bahama Mamas, and I don't, I don't respect y'all for that. That is insane, bro. I was just swiping through TikTok. He's like, "Hey, I found her. You found who? Why? <laughs> Why will you meet her? That's the real question." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and again, like back, I don't. I just every time I hear stuff about these people's life, it just sounds so unappealing now. <laughs> People, you, people saw you with a girl Immediately hit the keyboard Like mm -hmm. they sprint as fast as they could To try to figure out what this was bro, bro. It's weird And The part that blows me the most It'd be even if you're around Like I was listening to Tyler Crater say this He was like yeah bro I used to be around like My friends and they'd be like yeah no Y'all two are dating now and just, just, just things like that. It's like, bro, why? Why do you care? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, but for real though, you like, bro, I can't, like, it's like middle school. I can't sit with a girl. Bro, what is this? Fun, but, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Any, anything else? Like, can... Don't let the homie get cold. Oh, man, we married now. Like, shit. <laughs> Oh God! Oh yeah, no, it, was, it sounds like it would suck to really be dating and be a celebrity. At to least. be a celebrity, period. <laughs> and they everybody asking you for money and shit. They're like, bro, that's like that's like a penny to you. And <laughs> I like my pennies. What the fuck is you mean? <laughs> but they're asking you for like twelve thousand dollars. Like, like, bro, bro, 
I would never, bro. I, I heard, I heard a uh, Gil talking about this. He was like, "Yeah, bro, someone asked me for like twenty, twenty, forty thousand dollars, and they were genuinely mad. I didn't give it to them. Who the fuck would you ask for forty thousand dollars? <laughs> like what? Or the people that are worse, they'll tell you they'll pay you back, but you, you just asked me for a couple thousand. <laughs> I know what you do for work. We were friends. You know that, right? I know you. You've never had that in life. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean pay me back? <laughs> and that we're not going to be friends no more because you're going to start avoiding me because you don't have the fucking money to pay me back. now you can't pay me back. You knew you couldn't pay me back. So, like, bro. Nah, that's, that's, just, that's just ridiculous. And then it doesn't even blame. I don't even blame folks that be like, you know what? Once I start getting money, I have to only have friends that are getting money because I won't deal with it. It won't be me. I won't do it, bro. It's not fun, especially when you got to also, but from the other side of that, not even like they're asking you, but it's not fun seeing your homie struggle and you're like, I could literally just fix your life. And it wouldn't mean anything to me. <laughs> but what does that do for you? Really? Exactly. All it does is make you resent me. That's the only thing that, that can happen, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Shout out to LeBron. Because that's, that's the first person that I always think about shit like that, bro. The fact that he was able to find the type of homies that could be useful in the rise of fame and money and hoops and all that shit. Yeah, bro. The huh. fact that LeBron like owns the media, I, I, at this point, I feel like he has to own all the media companies, like a large portion, yeah, yeah. because nah, bro. Like <laughs> everybody has one. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that you're just doing nothing. He could be smart though. What? If you have girls around, escorts mm -hmm. only at the crib. Everybody's like you've been the guys before you got in the league, so everybody's getting patted down if they're coming into your house, regardless. Like mm. metal detectors and shit. Like it's very serious. Duh, you know what? That, that's that's extra. A great point. Being the guy for so long, this is not even new to me anymore. Even when I am getting all this money, I've been getting this money since I was 15, 16, and I knew I was gonna get the money at thirteen. It's it's a different it's a different vibe. It's a different vibe. But yeah, that gotta be ass. And then your kids too. Like oh man. I feel like it's I feel like it's different, especially trying to like raise a kid that's serious minded enough to not be useless in my empire because of I feel like that would be the quickest way for me to hate my kid. If I created all this generational wealth and you can't do nothing but take and you can't even take correctly, you're taking this obnoxious amount and making me look bad as you're taking this money out. Yeah, no, nah. I think my least favorite thing would be that my kids would have to go to private school. Yeah, I don't. I just want you to go to public school at least a little bit. Yeah, like, get some character a little, please. Like understand that these other people, they are people, too. Mm. But they are like that for a reason. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Poverty is real. They're not just like this because they're dumb and lazy. I feel like the separation of the two is what like gives like kind of the elitism like mm -hmm. space to, to mm -hmm. thrive. You know, like I've I've seen both. Y'all are y'all are the same. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. like y'all, your parents just have hella money. Exactly. Bro. You're lucky because you're Carmelo Anthony's kid. Type of type of vibe. Oh. And that's the thing. It's like my kids just couldn't unless I like completely hid them. Oh, okay. Which yeah. it seems really hard to do. And the thing is, you can't. I mean, Katie's done it for this long, so he's a kid. Katie has families. Come on, let's be serious. Let's be serious. Yeah. He's 35. He's had all his money for this long. Katie got some families, bro. <sighs> there has to be a couple poor stars that he took out the game. Bro. <laughs> how many of them dudes got two girls at the crib? Katie's mm. keeping it low key because he know he got too many. He Heck got yeah. 12, 12 wives, 36 <laughs> kids. He's just holding it down. You know what? There's there's few niggas that I want to help repopulate the earth. Man, keep keep doing it because there's there's a lot of useless motherfuckers with five six kids. So yeah, just <laughs> bro, half half the black population becomes seven foot because because of KDG. No, nah, that's different. That's different, bro. <laughs> Bro, bro, my homies are now starting to have kids, and when I tell you, I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm so shocked. I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready for it, because one of y'all niggas is going to name your kids some stupid ass shit, <laughs> and I don't know if I'm going to be able to sit there and not, like, make fun of you a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm not going to I'm not gonna drag it. Bro. No, of, of course, of course. My, my whole thing is, I, I don't want to hate any of my homies' kids. I don't, I don't want to do it, but I feel like I will. <laughs> Well, hates a couple of y'all. Some kids just be bad, man. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, like. yeah. 
<sighs> I don't wish that on anybody, but like, man, like your genes are terrible. Like you need to sort that out. It's probably your fault. Everybody that's bad growing up has terrible. Like their first kid at least is always bad as fuck. Well, they don't know what they're doing. It's, it's literally like a let's, let's try this. No, but this is the door. This is the thing. If if your dad grew up a hothead and and uh, made your mom a single mom or some shit, and you still grew up a high head. You don't even know that nigga. Like, oh, mm. I just think I think it's weird how like no, it's like it's the genetics, bro. You just got. I feel like you, you just have got the the hot head gene type of thing. This is the thing, maybe because <laughs> okay. I think because I've seen I've seen second and third children that they're not like that, or vice versa, where the first two is like they're like I don't know what's wrong with the little nigga, bro. He be tripping. <laughs> Speaking of the little nigga, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um. T I S what what is what's his name King King yes T I Sun King has been acting out would you would you call that an act out they were testing his gangster and he was trying to stand on business and it didn't go the way he thought it was gonna go so after an interview at the Atlanta out Atlanta Falcons Falcons yeah the football team uh football game uh they they had an an interview and some some past arguments were brought up mm-hmm. I guess by some of the questions they were asking so um. King starts arguing with his parents, but like really arguing about not being from the suburbs. Yeah. Which is an interesting stance to have in general. <laughs> Weird thing to argue about, but I but all people do that. I've never understood also like why rich people like why can't you be rich because your parents are rich? Why is that a problem? Um, because of people trying to do the whole thing where it's like, you didn't work for this. You're like a bum living with them. You don't even like create none of it. But why do you have to be self-made and make up this whole storyline of your life that didn't happen? And like, if anybody knows anything about you at all, it's very obvious that, <laughs> that none of this shit was right. you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't, I don't get that either. But with King specifically, he's like, you know what? I didn't grow up inside the gates. Nah, y'all were never around. I grew up with my grandma <laughs> and but this is the thing. You watch them grow up on TV, kind of, mm-hmm. sort of. Yeah. I'm not saying that was every day for them. My, my whole thing that's, that's difficult about that is the fact that he grew up on TV. So he didn't really grow up. He was acting as he was, like, trying to grow up and become, like, a real person, right? I think you stop seeing them cameras after a certain time. I mean, but you know that they're there. You know you're at work. <laughs> like, you can't just, like, fuck off and just not come. Are all the kids like that? It's Would just you- that one. And they say they've been watching him, and he's been the only one that was like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wait, what do you mean? Like, uh, the only person out of the other kids? Is he the only Yeah, I got like six, five, six. Damn. I know it's a couple of them. Okay. But he's the only, he's just bad. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like you're lucky if all your kids but one act out in that, in that way. Because of what's he, he was trying to be a rapper first, right? Kind of like following in his dad's footsteps. I. They they all do. Um, he's he's trying to like get some like rap. I I look back at people's music now so differently now after I, just because you brought it up. Mm-hmm. I, I I know we're not touching on the Diddy shit anymore, but Diddy's uh son featured with uh Kodak. I do remember that. Yeah, can't stop, won't stop, bad yeah. boy. I'm like, damn, what he do to that nigga to get that, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? What kind of threat did he have to hit Kodak with to can't stop, won't stop, bad boy? He put <laughs> he put a hot ass hook on that song. Like that <laughs> that shit was fire. Oh I, God, you that put- that should have been in my top five. Oh, like I was playing that shit on repeat. <laughs> Bro, that song was so hard. I didn't even know there's anyone else on the song. I totally forgot that bro, he was on the song with him. I, I was upgraded for my last one. Yeah. I done fucked up Risha Keisha and bro. <laughs> anyway, but Good yeah, no, King's King is uh, King Harris. Mm-hmm. I, I, is that his legal name? That's interesting. Anyway, King, he was saying, what does Ti stand for? <laughs> so, uh, King was saying. I didn't grow up in the gates. I, I grew up in in the in the neighborhood with my grandma. Uh, uh. Come to find out, grandma was hella middle class. Like grandma was very. You could tell by the no by the bullshit. vocabulary of your father. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, no. <laughs> no bullshit. No bullshit. I feel like we all need to come together and tell people the middle class is okay. If you're middle class, you're not a broke ass bastard. Like like we really need to sit and and, and understand that. Because I remember throughout college, I had to like actively tell all these kids. Bro, I swear to God, you're a rich kid. I swear to God. There's this whole, uh, there's a banquet that I went to where everyone was just like talking about where they're from, stuff like that. I was like, 
And the main argument was if you were if both your parents were both making hundred K, are you upper class or are you just middle class? And everyone was like, no, nah, middle we're, class. You were like, oh, we're just like lower middle class, we're not making that much. Da, 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 da. And I was like, no, 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 no. You're a rich bastard. <laughs> you're, a, you're a rich bastard. <laughs> 200k per parent or 100k per parent so 200 210 per household if you're making more than 110 you're upper you're class, middle class. <laughs> you're you're upper class you're middle it class. might have changed over the past few years but if it was um back in 2020 when i was making the argument yeah if you're 100k for a family household income with both parents you're a middle class home or you're an upper class home I feel like people think that the lower class is smaller than it is. I feel like lower class is literally like you are homeless. Damn near. It's I think it's like 60, 50. I think it's 50 per household because it's one person working making 50K. Something like that. One person working for and how many children? Two. Two kids, two parents, 50K household. Nah. See, that, <laughs> that, that got to extend up to like 80, 90 because inflation. Oh, okay. So like eighty, ninety, and you're still like, ah, like, oh yeah. Now, now it is a little bit. Bro, uh, with, with two, two making a hundred, you are very much middle class. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would have to make like I could live good off sixty by myself. Yeah. yeah if I yeah. if I get some kids, I'm gonna need eighty at least. Get some kids. Honestly, honestly, real quick, real quick. I know we're turning and pivoting. Damn, dear, if you're not making hundred k, please don't have them kids. Life will be hard. It will be so. <laughs> hey man, if you ain't never listened to nothing else I ever said in my life, listen to this. Look up this fine young woman. Her name is E. Kane. Look her up on on, on uh, TikTok and let her tell you. Don't don't have these damn kids before you have some money. It's a poor decision. Don't don't do what she did. Look her up. You do that. Oh God, because there's no reason for you to hate your kids for your dumb ass broke ass uh, decisions. That's all. That's all. Play on that one. But oh. no, I feel like. We're missing a big points where it's super easy to build resentments towards a parents and parents don't be remembering that they were shit parents when they were raising you to begin with. Uh, I feel like in shit parent, I don't think it's fair. Okay. I feel like we recently just reached a level of consciousness as a as a species to where we're like, oh, there are people too. Like or maybe it's just the way that uh, America is, but like they just started treating children like like actual people. Yeah, that's so true. like, yeah, it, it it feels like a lot of parents treat kids as if they're property. Where it's like you should feel nothing unless I tell you to feel that thing. You literally should enjoy nothing if or if I told you to enjoy that. Exactly, thing. like you are literally just a fucking like robot. You should be programmable. <laughs> exactly, exactly, straight out the box. Well, you're not doing what I'm telling you to do. Like, mm -hmm. So let me actually hit the fuck out of you. <laughs> Try to hit that reset. It didn't work. You know, sometimes you smack the back of the TV to come back. You know, you don't be all static anymore. Oh God! Oh God! Oh, you know what? On, on that real quick. I'm gonna stand on it and put my my pole down. Please stop hitting that goddamn six year old. Stop hitting him. He doesn't understand. Nah, oh. you know what's actually <laughs> people that actually have special needs children and they st no and they still be no get away from hitting special needs kids. And you like, bro, I don't care how mad you are. Like, there's no way. There were other options I felt like you had before you got to this. Like, get that little nigga up for adoption, there honestly. Like, no, you saw a, a parent slap the shit up the special needs kid? Bro, what? You haven't? No. What? Bro, like, the school I went to, they had so many different special needs kids. Diagnosed and not. I've seen some people get smacked the fuck up. Nah, slapping an autistic kid is insane. Bro, one of our teachers, he got fired w for whooping Were they, kid. like... Of uh, special needs, as if you look at them, you're like, oh yeah, no, there's something that's that's wrong with the noggin, or no. But like if you talk to him, for sure. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so one of our beans, he got fired for whooping his son in the bathroom. I think that motherfucker was special needs, like, cause he was just always doing shit. But like, nah, whooping your kid on school campus is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. <laughs> He felt like that was necessary. He had to handle business, and he went and worked at a different school. I mean, it, it kind of worked out for him, I guess. Oh god, <laughs> that would be a crazy thing to come back and like come back later in life. <laughs> so, some a fan runs up on me, and I'm like, <laughs> stiff arm they ass and look at what he said. <laughs> it's part of him. He, he's been like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. No. But <laughs> 
No, but, no, but for real. No, but for real. Oh, uh, don't hit autistic kids. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about uh, someone who got treat your children like children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now that we're looking back at, especially our parents, since they were the perpetrators of of go to the corner and come out the corner when I said come out the corner type energy. We've really been what the corner? Oh man, <laughs> you didn't have that as a punishment, <laughs> sir. Where are your parents from? <laughs> your parents time out in the corner. Your grandparents? Ah, let's be serious. It was, it was more of a look at the wall type of. Really? Have you ever had the the squat one? Nah. Oh, okay. There's a there's a punishment that some Africans use where they'll be like, sit on the wall, and then you sit. On the wall until they tell you so you can get up from the wall. Yeah, no, I'd have had all kind of homies that had weird shit. Like my one friend had and, to hold milk jugs. Wait, and real quick, real quick. And then the thing would be where they'll tell you to sit at the wall, they'll go and watch CNN, and then by the time that they're done with CNN, they'll turn back and be like, Okay, now you now you can leave. But they usually fell asleep, so Yeah. Yeah, see, and that's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> They're the the kind of mental torment that comes with some of these beatings and stuff. The amount of my homies that I know that can tell which parent is walking upstairs or which parent is like entering the keyhole to open the door is actually insane. Because it seems like literally all of them. They just all know how their parents like feet sound. Yeah. When you're doing stuff you're not supposed to. Or when you have strict parents. Mm-hmm. These mm. are these are important things to Bro, know. The thing that be blow me, my parents weren't even strict. It turns out they were just mean. Just just mean as hell. <laughs> I my parents would never let me have sleepovers. So anytime I told like come to my house, they would tell they would always tell me, Why would you ever bring any of your friends here? Are you ashamed of coming of coming here? And I'm like, You don't want them here. You yelled at my friend last time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, Bro, that's nah, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> limited playdates. So, there's a lot of limited playdates. Did you start bringing friends after that? No, they never. I would never have friends come to my crib because of my parents were always doing some crazy shit. <laughs> it was just crazy shit. Yeah, what kind of crazy shit? Um, beating each other, arguing. Nah, they were there. <laughs> <laughs> Domestic no. abuse household. <laughs> no, my parents, honestly, I'm, that's one of the things I'll always be surprised at. It's it's not common in African households for, for that shit to happen. <laughs> A lot of yelling. It's, bro, bro, bro. I remember I had to like talk to my parents uh, this one time because it's like they'll try and like yell at me and I'll be like, stop yelling at me. And they'll be like, I'm not yelling. I, this is my normal talking voice. <laughs> well, stop doing this. <laughs> Was I overreacting? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> but tell that to my twelve year old self. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but, but, no, yeah. I feel that. I be saying that shit to my mom all the time. Be like, you're mad all the fucking time. Like, you gonna get mad at me. Like, I'm not mad. Then why are you talking like this? <laughs> like, you just walked in the crib and started yelling at me. What do you mean? I didn't even say anything. You didn't tell me to do shit. Oh, like god. damn. It gets to the point where the only conversations you have with your parents are them just telling you to do shit so y'all have never had a real conversation in 22 years. Nah, literally, bro. It's like, <sighs> just stop talking to y'all niggas. Y'all seem <laughs> awfully upset. It's like, I understand you. You work your hard. You go to work every day. All right, good for you. Thanks for thanks for letting me eat. Can you take a day or something, dog? Like a personal day? You got, y'all got mental health days. You need better help. It's not an ad, but like, come on. Like, can we can we get you something? Like, oh, God. Oh, God. Whew. Well, yeah. Anything else you want to add on to your... Make your parents use all that fucking PTO they saved up. If they going to come home acting the ass all the time, Man. you better use that fucking PTO, bitch. How the fuck you got all that goddamn... How the fuck you got 200... <laughs> you got 200 hours of PTO and get mad at me when you get home. Use it! What? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, my God. I remember my mom, my mom worked at the hospital for like... It's been like 20, 30 years now, right? <laughs> Eight never took no breaks. <laughs> Eight thousand three hundred and fifty-six hours. Why would I use it? 
bro. Like you can take a whole year take off, a whole year, <laughs> and get paid for it. Go back to Africa, like do something. <laughs> Literally, go build your own house. Go build a house. You don't gotta send them motherfuckers no money. You don't gotta wonder if some shit's getting built. Go oh build my, your own house. Oh my god. But yeah, um, anything else? <laughs> bro, tell your parents to use that damn PTO. I'm telling you. <laughs> 